With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is given a rod of mass uh, m, mass is 3 kg and length is a 3 m meter is went in the form of an equilateral triangle. So the moment of inertia of the triangle about a vertical axis perpendicular to plane and passing through center of a mass. So here we have to find the uh, inertia, moment of inertia when uh, they are passing perpendicular to the passing through center of mass. So firstly here we can say that uh, this is a rod of mass is given 3 kg that means uh, uh, one rod is a uh, 1 uh, kg and the length is a uh, 3 meter means the uh, 3 rod is a uh, 3 meter and now one rod is the uh, 1 meter. So this is a uh, equilateral uh, triangle so means uh, this uh, length is the uh, same. Now here firstly we can see here the center uh, this is a triangle and here it's the uh, perpendicular is the uh, passing on this center perpendicular to plane passing through the center of a mass and here rotate this omega and is the axis uh, perpendicular to the axis so here we have to find the center of mass this means that is the this distance we have to find this r now here uh, we know that the one rod moment of inertia we know so where we find the three rod of moment inertia so here we can a uh, rod of uh, this is a one rod of uh, uh, one rod of moment inertia we know that here means uh, this moment of inertia about its middle we can write uh, here m moment of inertia i is equal to one rod is the uh, ml square by 12 so here we find uh, this r distance and find uh, total inertia uh, so here firstly we clear this up means this is the length is the total length is the l so here this length is the l by 2 now here we can understand it here we draw this is the triangle and here we have to find this distance this distance is r and here this length is the l by 2 because this is the total length is the l now here this angle is a 30 because this uh, angle is 60, 60, 60, so this uh, half is a 30. Now, suppose this is a x and find the value here. So, firstly, we can write this is a x cos 30 degree is equal to L by 2. Now, here x is equal to L by 2 cos 30 degree. Now, here we can write this is a L upon 2 under root of 3 y2 cos 30 values are under root 3 by 2 so 2 2 cancel and it will come and y under root 3 so now here in that case we see this is this is a perpendicular here now here we find this value so r is equal to x sin 30 degree means here l under root 3 in is equal to l under root 3 now here this is the sin 30 is 1 by 2 so here it is equal to l 2 under root 3. Now here we can say that means this triangle length is 1 and here mass is means rod of mass is 3 kg and length of 3. So one rod is one rod mass is m and the length is 1. So here we can write we use here parallel axis theorem. So we can write here this is the i is equal to ml square 12 plus m r square now here we can put the value m l square 12 and r values we find up here m l square y this is a 12 means calculating 2 2 to the 4 and this 3 this this is a 12 and here it is equal to m l square y 6 now here moment of inertia will come here i ml square by 6 now here we can say total so total is uh, mm, 3 so that means uh, total mass uh, is uh, total length is uh, given 3 and mass is so here this is uh, equal to ml square by 2 now here we have to given m and l is uh, 1 rod is the uh, 1 so here i total is equal will come 1 by 2 kilogram per uh, here this is equal to 1 by 2 kg meter square so now check the also here it will come 1 by 2 
क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आफ्टर डे